Aaron, forecast time. We have wiped out uh, the snow, uh, virtually all of it, uh, over the past few days now as temperatures have been running at or above 40 degrees. And I got news for you, folks. We are at our peak temperature for this Wednesday right now. At last check, 49 degrees in Muskegon. And I think uh, if you live in Kalamazoo over to Battle Creek, southward to the Indiana line, you can and likely will hit 50 degrees by mid to late morning tomorrow. How about that? This is for GR, though. 48 I'm going to stop the clock there, stop the uh, mercury at 48 for our peak temperature uh, during that mid morning period will level off and then begin to slip down through the 40s during the afternoon. I've got partly sunny skies uh, through the day. There will be some spells, I think, where it does appear mostly cloudy because as this cold front comes through mid to late morning, turns the winds from the southwest to the west and then northwest, there will be some low clouds trying to build in. The question is, is that how thick of a low cloud deck is it? Are there going to be breaks in those clouds? I think there probably will, but times where there are a fair amount of clouds around. So mostly cloudy to an optimistic, partly sunny sky. Northwest winds at 15 to 25 will gust to about 35 miles per hour, even a gust or two higher. Higher than that is a possibility. It will be a brisk Thursday around here. You can count on that. Even call it windy. Yes, I think that is fair to dub it as such. Friday morning, some snow showers will roll on through for parts of the viewing area. A very tiny little band of moisture coming in from the northwest. This is not going to cause much of a fuss, but uh, is there a chance that there could be a grassy little slushy accumulation in spots? early Friday morning. It's possible, so stay tuned on that. It's not going to be much. It would go away quickly with temperatures rebounding into the lower 40s there during the afternoon. Next system arrives on Sunday, and that one looks to be a wet weather maker. If you've been paying attention to forecasts in recent days, you know, a few days ago, it appeared as though that could be a white weather maker. No, will not be the case on Sunday. Too warm, we get rain, but then some lake effect snow showers behind it as colder air comes in on Monday. Readings right now, look at these, Aaron, 44, Grand Rapids, 45 in Kalamazoo, upper 40s along the lakeshore. I went outside a few times within the past hour. It feels refreshing. It feels actually pretty darn good outside as these southwest winds are blowing in that milder regime and gusting to 20 to even close to 30 miles per hour right along the water line. And those types of breezes are going to extend inland a bit as well overnight. Then the winds go to the west and then northwest as this cold front slides in there. Uh, mid to late morning. This on the time stamp. What does that say? At uh, 11 a.m. It is going to be windy all day long. But again, you shift to the northwest. That's a cooler direction coming from Canada. So from that 48 mid morning, we'll slip back to around 40 by say four, five, six o'clock tomorrow evening. Call it 42 on Friday. Call it 38 on Saturday. Then we actually go back up again as low pressure passes out to our west on Sunday. That brings in another uh, momentary southerly flow pattern with some rain showers on Sunday. Cooler air does invect in. And some lake effect flurries and snow showers could accumulate to a small extent on Monday. And then perhaps another system we'll see at some point later Tuesday into Wednesday of next week. As I have said many times over and over again, days five, six, and seven trying to predict accumulating snow is uh, kind of ridiculous. But there may be a system nearby by the middle of next week that could cause, uh, you know, maybe some snow to stick. We'll see about that. Future track model, this is the European, drags a little sprinkle or shower through while you're sleeping. It's gone by tomorrow morning. May wake up to a little damp pavement, but by the afternoon. It's just cloudy and then uh, well a few breaks for sun and then that next little sliver of some moisture early Friday morning. Some mixed rain and snow showers could be enough to throw down some slush on the grass. It's gone by the afternoon and then that Sunday system. Aaron, here we go. The snow accumulating snow system snow will be to our north low pressure passing across the northern half of the lower peninsula. That's a warm track for us. Backside though cold enough air. We get a few flurries and uh, flurries and snow showers on Monday. Aaron, I've got more coming up at 11. Anthony, thank you. It's an